would you see there tonight? Uh, I would not disagree with our guys when they say that, you know, looking at the rebound margin, we're getting 17 offensive rebounds. And, you know, that cannot happen. Uh, we cannot have a, a recipe of giving up that many offensive rebounds in any league, whether it's non-conference or if it's Big Ten. Does that come down to maybe boxing out as a, a technique sort of thing, or do you think that's an uh, overall effort? Boxing out, energy, and effort. Uh, that's you know, it's correctable. Uh, we'll get to it, and we'll make sure we do better with it. At the same time, the energy and the effort on defense seem to be there, and they seem to be pretty connected for the first time. Are you pretty pleased with that? Yes. Um, you know, I think going back to our scrimmage, you know, I was very pleased with our defensive effort. Uh, also, Loving the fact that our activity around the ball, uh, we're getting deflections, but I think our deflections, of course, can be a little bit higher than what it was. Uh, contesting shots, uh, we didn't give up many open shots, but you know, our goal is to always uh, make sure that we do not give up open shots, and when we do, make sure that we uh, contest without fouling. I uh, also love, love the fact that we moved our feet defensively uh, and not allow many blow lines. So th there's growth. Uh, our defense looked really good. But we can always be better. Jawan, the, uh, the ball movement looked very good. Would you agree, or what was your take on that? That's a very good observation because I said that to my our team for post game. You know, I really loved our ball movement on how we shared the game when there's opportunities where a guy could have had an open shot, uh, but you saw a guy closing out, moved it uh, to another guy who was wide open. Uh, whether get a wide open shot, but make it or miss it. Uh, we always had to have that next play mentality. Uh, if you get that same shot, you take that same shot again. And one guy I could think of is Brandon Johns. I mean, he had a few open shots in the beginning of the game, didn't fall, and then, and then he had another shot, uh, three, his third, I believe it was his third shot, he took it. I'm, I'm talking about the shot that did not drive, not that one, the one he took the open shot. It's like, that's exactly the mentality that our guys must have moving forward for this season. Juwan, it sounded like there were a few times you were encouraging the guys to get up the floor as quickly as possible and transition. Um, is this a team that, that you think can thrive in transition throughout the season? We've always, from my, my time here with Xavier Simpson, we've always uh, tried to get points in transition to keep uh, our opponents in scramble mode. Um, we will continue to keep focusing on that. But the most important part is staying organized in transition. Talk about Moose's energy and uh, how much fun he seems to be having out there. <laughs> it's inspiring to watch. Uh, a freshman with that energy and plays with that tenacity and effort. Uh, teammates enjoy it. You can see that you know, how they are inspired by it with their how they clap for him. Uh, you hear them, you know, encouraging him, and applauding his effort. Uh, that's what makes Moose special. He's going to play hard no matter what, from start to finish. And that's how he's wired. And I'm happy that Moose is on our side. That dunk he had, uh, the N1 in transition, I mean, is that something you've been seeing in practices? That's something I've been seeing since he was at IMG. <laughs> <laughs> you want when we spoke yesterday? Well, yes, to your yeah, question. Sure. He's been uh, doing that in practice, too. When we talked yesterday, you talked about how grateful you were for having such a, a deep team this year and a deep roster. You got to see 13 guys in action tonight. I'm curious, is it maybe what you thought you would see? Were there some surprises maybe towards the end of the bench? Or is it pretty consistent with what you've seen in the preseason? Man, I wish I could play all of them because they all deserve to play. Because what I've seen in practice, everyone has competed. Uh, guys have bought into the teaching and applied everything that's being taught with, with myself and my staff. How they, you know, what their character and their, how they, you know, accept coaching uh, is, is a beauty to watch. And, you know, that's why I feel like, you know, I wish I had enough minutes to be able to give everyone minutes. But they understand that this is a season of sacrifice, and, uh, which you must always be ready when the name is called, which you just never know. Call last season, uh, I put Terrence Williams in the end of the game, the last possession, uh, and he 
got the last stop. The best amount of trust that I've had because I've watched him in practice when he was a freshman. And I knew he was ready for that moment. But there can be a lot of guys that can be in that moment at any time. Jace, uh, Isaiah, Will, they all are going to be in that situation. Uh, they just have to be ready when the game's called. 17 turnovers, was that a little bit higher than you were, right? Uh, I was I was expecting more in the 20s. It's your first game, right? right? Your first time you're playing in front of the crowd. Our first game, non-conference, when I was a freshman, playing at Cobo Hall, we had 30 turnovers. And we won by 30. <laughs> Anything else, fellas? What, what did you like make of Devontae's game? I mean, it looked like he was you know, playing with these guys for a long time and then solid defensively. Yes. You know, the guy, you know, knows how to play basketball. Uh, he's not going to go out his way to go outside the team. He's going to do everything to help the team, whether it's on the defensive end or offensive end. Uh, I'm sure he has a chip on his shoulder from a guy who's been in the success there for four years and, and now he gets an opportunity to play for in the Power Five Conference. Uh, you know, those kind of guys are very interesting. And the level of competitor that he is and what he represents is everything what Michigan basketball is all about. It looked like coming out of halftime he got himself going on the defensive end and that led to some offense for him. Do you see him being that type of player? He's going to be next time everything. You see that corner three that he made? We're going to need that too. Uh, he's going to do a lot of everything. You know? Defensively and offensively, you know, he, we're going to need uh, DJ to be DJ because he's a special player. Do you, want, do, you, do you expect to be without Zeb or Frankie when the regular season starts next week? I'm not sure. Take the day by day. Thoughts on Caleb's first game? He looked like a man who's been playing here for a long time. He just knows how to play, fits right in, and doesn't try to do too much. He competes. He's going to get better and better. He's just a freshman. And, you know, there are going to be some days when you have some ups and downs. That's the part of being a freshman. You know, everyone goes through it playing college basketball. Yeah, every freshman has that. Hopefully he stay consistent with this. <laughs> he was a great player every time, all the time. But um, I understand as a coach that uh, the reality will will set in where uh, there are going to be some times when we all go through some tough patches, but we just got to keep forging ahead. Okay, thank you, Coach. Thank you, Coach.